Hi guys, welcome to Philippine Asia 101. So today we will be discussing special leave for women. So this is our fourth installment in the Philippine Statutory Leave Benefits Series. Previously, I've discussed service incentive leave, solo parents leave, leave for victims of violence against women and their children. For my upcoming videos, I will be discussing paternity leave and maternity leave. Special leave for women is based on Republic Act 9710 or the Magna Carta of Women. So women employees are entitled to have two months leave with pay for any gynecological disorder that would require surgical procedures. Gynecological disorders refers to disorders that would require surgical procedures such as but not limited to dilation and curettage and those involving female reproductive organs such as the vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tube, ovaries, breast, and adnesia and pelvic floor as certified by a competent physician. It shall also include hysterectomy, ovarectomy, and mastectomy. Coverage any female employee, regardless of age and civil status, shall be entitled to a special leave benefit following a surgery caused by gynecological disorders to enable them to recuperate. Conditions for availment So the first one, the female employee has rendered at least six months continuous aggregate employment service for the last 12 months prior to surgery. The second one is that the female employee has filed an application for special leave with her employer within a reasonable period of time from the expected date of surgery or within such period as may be provided by company rules and regulations or collective bargaining agreement. And the last one, the female employee has undergone surgery due to gynecological disorder as certified by a competent physician. So the special leave shall be granted to qualified employee after she has undergone surgery without prejudice to an employer allowing the employee to receive her pay before or during the surgery. So guys, by law, the special leave for women is granted after the surgery. However, it, if the employer allows the employee to receive this benefit before and during the surgery, then that's great. Furthermore, the special leave shall be non-cumulative and non-convertible to cash which means it is recommended to use and exhaust the two months leave with pay since it's not convertible to cash. So guys, I also have an experience. Our sister company's employee had a vaginal surgery. Since she was familiar with the mandatory special leave for women benefit, she requested to avail the said benefit and the company granted her that two months leave with pay benefit. So, for those women employees out there, even though this benefit is not explicitly stated in the company handbook, you still have the rights to avail this kind of benefit since it's mandatory. Alright? Thanks for watching Philippine HR 101. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get notified of my new video uploads. See you next time!